Okay, and so I've turned it up back all nice and neat. Okay guys, so Isn't that packaging beautiful? I love the packaging. So this is another piece that I received from Miss Great. And I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So let's check it out. And by the way, this is their new packaging. It's brand new. It's mauve and it has the black lettering. And this right here, I'm not sure if it's picking up, but it's, yeah, you might be able to see it now. It's like gold, coppery gold. Or maybe, yeah, it's beautiful. I love that. And when you open it, it has that on the inside. It says um, great hair, then great mood and great day. So that's kind of cool. And it has the beautiful monogram paper. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open this on up here. Comes in a gorgeous satin bag like the other. What the clip-ins came in a bag. Here are my clip-ins. And like I said, this is a division of uh, her given hair. So the clip-ins are in here. They came in their satin bag. And the way it comes in, it's plain satin bag, but this time it has Miss Great on it, which is cool. Bag is small, it's beautiful. And here is the print. So yeah, this time guys, I wanted to try a wig. I wanted to see what it was like. It comes in here. It's all nice and nicely packaged. And there she is. So yeah, she's straight. I opted to go with a straight piece this time. And she's a bob, a short bob. Well, you know, probably maybe shoulder length. But there she is. The hair feels amazing. It feels so, it's really, really pretty. So there she is. And I may put a little soft wave in it. I'm not sure at this time, but I'll let you kind of see what she looks like here. And has a little bit of lace right here at the part. Um, Cause it looks like when I put it on, it has combs to go here. So it looks like my ears may be covered. So I may not necessarily need that. So that's kind of cool how that's kind of cut out there. I don't know if you can really understand what I'm saying, but there's the inside. So it has, that's the lace part right at the very, right here, the middle. And then it has two combs here on the sides. And then it has one comb in the very back and it has an adjustable elastic band, which I'm assuming goes to the back. Look, it's been, ooh, it's been so long since I've worn a wig. Um, those of you guys that have been with me a long time know that I used to wear a little short pixie cut wig. It was synthetic, it was so old, but I just love the cut on it because I had a custom cut and um, it didn't have anything. It had no combs, it had nothing in it. It was just, you put it on. <laughs> I think it had one of the little things, like the little adjustable things where you just kind of, you know, pull it and almost like a little bra strap thing, you just kind of stick it in. That was all the adjusting I could do at that time. So it hasn't been years ago. And I no longer have that wig. I loved it, but I don't have it anymore. So this is the only one that I have now. And so yeah, I guess I could just kind of pop it on over here. Okay, so that's what she looks like on now, what I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit of um, 
you know, experimenting, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to pull up the heck out of this here because you can't even see the scalp there. So I'm assuming I'll have to pluck some of that and, you know, I've got the scarf on. So once I'm able to, you know, because I still have, you can kind of see how that is puffed up there. So I'll have to pull it down a little bit more because I have room to pull it down. It's just a matter of me getting it down. It's a little bit, it's a little flatter now. And I'll probably go in and so pluck that. And I, I don't really know what to do here with this lace front, but I'll figure it out. You know, that's my blue scarf. So that's why that looks like that. And I'm sure I would probably go in and add a little bit of curl and we'll jazz it up, style it up. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So that should be kind of cool. So that's what we're going to work on next. I look weird with straight hair. Super weird. Okay guys, so when I first received the wig, the instructions were to wash before wear. So this is what you see me doing, using just a co-wash and allowing it to air dry. So once it air dried, um, I decided that I would go ahead and put um, just some soft um, curls. I'm using just a flat iron, um, just to give it a little bit of a curl so that um, you know once I comb them out it'll give me more of um, I guess like a soft wave but you know the goal is not to curl it to have curl curls so I guess you'll see in the final result um, however I did this this right here is my second time um, actually styling the wig because I did um, um, once I received it, I did wear it, but I did not record it. So the recording you saw before is me actually trying the wig or, you know, pulling the wig out of the packaging and um, I did wear it, um, but I just didn't record that portion. So uh, towards the end of the video, you'll see me wearing the wig that I'm styling right now and um, not quite as it was when I wore it the first time but the style is pretty much the same close to it okay so we're ready we got her all done in so she is ready to go there's my little strap I'm gonna tie behind the head but let me go ahead and get my cap on here. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Okay, so I just straightened out my little edges a little bit in there. Okay, pull my hair out. it will go you know in front All right, so we got it on. And what I did is I just kind of pulled a little bit of the hair out, tucked it behind my ears, fluffed out that hair, use a little bit of hairspray. And then I'm gonna come over here Back. 
that's it from this side. And the other side. So I didn't go in really and straighten my hair out like straight, straight there. So I'm just gonna kind of leave that like that. But there she is. Okay, so this is this morning. We're about to head out to church. Please forgive my house, it's an absolute mess. But uh, the curls fell a little bit. Um, couldn't get this part as straight as I wanted it, but that is her the next day. Okay guys, so I thought I would add this little piece into the video. Um, what do I think about this wig? So, when I got the wig, um, as you guys could see, first received it, it was straight. And um, I kind of, I really did think that I was going to be able to like it just straight or whatever. Once I tried it on, I really wasn't too thrilled. Um, so once I curled it, you know, I was like, yeah, I might be able to do something with it. It'd probably be a nice piece. Um, something that I can, you know, use when, um, I haven't done my hair and I want something to throw on and just kind of keep going. Okay, some of the pros and cons that I have with this particular piece. Number one, for me, it would have to be the color. Um, obviously, most of my hair is gray in the front. Around in this area, the back of my hair is relatively dark. Um, I find that this particular wig, although the coloring is nice, don't get me wrong, I think it's a nice color, but it's, I don't know if I wanna call it too gray or if it doesn't have enough depth in the color. So take for instance, if you were a blonde girl, you would have a root color and then your hair would be light. It's hard to mimic that with gray hair because with gray hair, usually your hair's growing out of your scalp gray and the rest of your hair is usually dark. So it would be hard to try to figure out how to make gray hair seem realistic. So I guess it's the silvery, shiny piece that is kind of throwing me off. Um, I think the way that they have colored their wig is, is beautiful. Um, I think maybe there needs to be something with the root. I'm not sure exactly if it's gray then darker. I'm not sure exactly. At that part, I can't really figure out. But it's just gray from root to tip, just all over. And realistically, you guys know that that is not how my hair grows. Um, it would be nice to have a piece that really did mimic um, my hair color, which most of my hair is real white around the perimeter. And then it's gray and black mixed throughout. But in a realistic world, it's probably not gonna happen. Um, the weird part for me was the um, the lace part here. I just ended up cutting it out um, because I knew I was going to add or pull my hair out and um, kind of like mix it in with this hair right here in the front. Um, so today it is just, the curls have fallen a little bit. So this is this side, this side, and I would wear it like this, or I would just kind of, you know, pull one side behind the ear and just kind of fluff this out a little bit. But all in all, I think it is a really nice piece. Um, and, but those were just some of the issues that I had with the wig was, the shininess was just a little too shiny for me. 
and the fact that it was just gray from root to tip all over. Um, I think maybe having a little bit more um, of the black added in might help, um, but it's, it's, it really is kind of hard for, for me to, to say what would be you know, a good option to make it look more realistic. But um, tell me what you guys think in the description box or in, in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think about the wig. And um, because I'm sure, you know, Miss Gray would love to hear you guys' feedback on, you know, what you think of the wig and possibly even some suggestions. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys are interested in this wig, I will leave all of the information in the description box linking to uh, wigs and other hair products that Miss Great has on the website. Anyhow, you guys have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.